We've got tennis legend Andy Roddick on Good Day Austin this morning. Fox 7 Austin digital content creator Donnie Wong chatted with him this week about the Andy Roddick Foundation and his whiskey. Check it out. Former number one men's tennis player and tennis hall of famer Andy Roddick has done a lot on the tennis court, but he's also been making a lot of impact off of it as well with the Andy Roddick Foundation. The foundation is based out of Austin and works to improve the lives and expand opportunities for young people through various programs. Andy joins us now to tell us more about it. Hey, Andy, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? Pretty good. Thanks. Um, you know, if I did my math correctly, um, the foundation just turned 20 last year, correct? Uh, we're, we're 20 years old. Uh, we can almost legally drink as a foundation, uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, um, it, it's been, uh, it's been a pretty fun process. Obviously we, we had uh, grand plans for a lot of, uh, in-person events to, uh, to celebrate along with the people that, uh, helped, uh, helped us along the way that really didn't happen in, in 2020, but we were able to adapt and I, I think we're stronger on the other side. Yeah, how was the pandemic for the foundation? Um, I mean, I know it was a struggle for a lot of, um, you know, nonprofits and things like that. Sure. Um, you know, we, we certainly had a, a, a pretty uh, a, a pretty concerning board meeting, um, you know, in, in, in March of 2020, trying to figure out what uh, what life was going to look like in the near term and in, in, in the in the far term. Um, not dissimilar to uh, to a lot of people. But you know what? It, it forced uh, it, it expedited the process of, of, of kind of handling problems for our, our families uh, that, that needed it, right? So uh, it, we, we started the Family Emergency Fund. We, we started dealing uh, in providing food, not just education for, for, for families, uh, figuring out how we're going to deliver uh, our award-winning program uh, virtually without kind of losing a step. I mean, and you just kind of mentioned it. You guys have been doing some stuff virtually, and um, you guys are going to be doing virtual summer camps this year, right? Yeah, we are. Um, we are going to resume in person uh, for the uh, for the, the school year, but here we're we're still going to do virtual this summer. Obviously, in the post vaccination world, uh, it, it's tough to plan months out, but it, it's great. You know, our our, our campers are going to be focused on change makers, uh, specific to athletics and the platforms that that certain athletes have to do uh, to do social good. Um, and, and so uh, we'll we'll be teaching those processes th this summer. Our kids are really excited about it, and uh, you know, it's uh, hashtag our summer twenty. 21. We're excited. As if you weren't busy enough with the foundation, um, you recently just launched a whiskey brand or a whiskey, I guess, right? With Peyton Manning. Tell me more about that. Yeah, Whiskey Bourbon. We we launched it, uh, and that's another thing that we tried. To, we, we were supposed to launch it March 26th of last year at a big in-person thing in in, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, which was our first market. We did uh, Tennessee and in Georgia last year. We only sold about uh, 14,000 bottles. Um, this year, we've already entered uh, four new states, including the great state of Texas, which uh, was selfishly I'm, I'm excited about. Uh, you know, there's some, it's, it's probably, uh, it's probably vain, but to be able to walk into some of my favorite places in Austin with friends of mine and order, uh, our own, uh, Sweetens Cove bourbon whiskey has, has been very cool. You know, obviously having, having Peyton involved is, was a huge win for us. It was, uh, yeah, I didn't know what his buy-in would be. I mean, he pretty much gets any endorsement that he wants. I always joke that, uh, there's, there's no endorsements le left for the rest of us has because he took them all. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Andy. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. Thanks for having me on.